Example problem one reads, a scientist assembles the apparatus shown below. If the width or length of the apparatus is 1.5 meters and the force required to hold the movable wire steady without breaking the film of liquid is 5.0 newtons, what is the surface tension of the fluid? So the problem tells us that we have a length of 1.5 meters. You always should remember in these types of problems to multiply the length right off the bat times two because there are two sides to this apparatus. So imagine that this is 3D and that there are two sides to it. So always multiply that length by two. So 1.5 times two is gonna be three meters. The problem also tells us that we have a force of 5.0 newtons and it's asking us for the surface tension. And so we have a formula for surface tension. It's gonna be surface tension equals force divided by length. Where surface tension is measured in units of newton meters, force is measured in units of newtons, and length is measured in units of meters. And so at this point, we can go ahead and plug everything in since we've already multiplied our length by two. So force is 5.0 newtons divided by three meters. And so five divided by three equals 1.66 bar newton meters. Newtons doesn't go away and meters doesn't go away. It just turns into newton meters. And so that's it. And let me know if you have any questions about example problem one.